Grains of fine California beach sand are approximately spheres with an average radius of 50 microns and are made of silicon dioxide, which has a density of 2,600 kilograms per cubic meter. What mass of sand grains would have a total surface area, the total area of all the individual spheres, equal to the surface area of a cube of one a meter on an edge? All right, so this is a pretty tricky problem, partially because it's a little bit difficult even to decipher what the question is asking. It's worded a little bit confusingly, but the question is still pretty interesting in what it's asking. Because it's asking if we had all, what it's saying is if we had a certain number of sand grains and the total surface area of each and every one of them put together was equal to the total surface area of a cubic uh, square here, of a cubic meter square here, then what would be the mass of all those sand grains? So as you can probably imagine from that uh, task we're given here, you can probably imagine that this is going to require a number of steps. But uh, you can simplify it easily by thinking of it like this. We want to find the number of sand grains that would make this up and multiply it by the mass of a grain of sand. And that might be, and that's one way that we could get this. So let's try it that way. In order to do that, we'll need to figure out what the mass is of a grain of sand. And we'll also need to figure out the number of grains of sand that would uh, take up this much surface area. So first to find the mass, let's use what we know about the density uh, to, uh, to uh, since we know that density is equal to mass over volume, it's pretty easy to figure out that mass is then going to be equal to the density times the volume. Or did I say mass over volume? Yeah, density is, ma uh, yeah, density is mass over volume, so mass is going to be density times volume. So in this case, though, we're, we're uh, using a grain of sand here, which is going to be a sphere. So we're going to rewrite the volume, actually, because we're not given the volume of a grain of sand, but we are given the radius. And it turns out that's all we're going to need. Because if you know your geometry, then you know the volume of a sphere is going to be equal to 4 pi times the radius cubed divided by 3. And that's all we're going to need. So if you plug in the values we have here for the density and the radius, then our mass becomes 2,600 kilograms per cubic meter, as given by the problem, times 4 pi times uh, 50 microns for the radius. So that's 50 times 10 to the negative sixth of a meter and cube that whole thing. And that is divided by 3. And plugging this into our calculator, the mass we get for one grain of sand is 1.36 times 10 to the negative 9 kilograms. So that is the mass of a grain of sand. Now let's try and figure out how many grains of sand we'll need to fill up the same amount of surface area as a cubic meter. So to do this, uh, I'll set n to be the number of grains of sand. And first, let's figure out what the total surface area of this cube is even going to be. Because if we want to find the numbers of grains of sand, what we might want to do is take the surface area of the cube and divide that by the surface area of a grain of sand. Because by setting up that ratio, we can be able to figure out how many surface areas of that sphere will be able to fit into the surface area of the cube. Now, the cube described here has one meter on an edge. And since we know a cube is six size, we'll be able to figure out that the surface area of that cube is going to be six uh, meters squared. And we're gonna divide that by the surface area of a grain of sand. Now, once again, you wanna know your geometry here. And if you did, you'd know that the surface area of a sphere is four pi times the radius of the sphere squared. So in this case, that'll be four pi times the radius, which is again, 50 microns. So 50 times 10 to the negative six meters. Oops. And we'll square that radius. 
and once again plugging this into our calculator, we find that the number of grains this would get us is 1.91 times 10 to the eighth grains. Now for the final step, now we want to find out what the actual total mass would be of all this put together. So the total mass of all these grains of sand that we'd need to fill up that space is going to be equal to the number of grains of sand, n, times the mass of one grain of sand, or uh, the other small, the small m I'm using here. And so plugging in our values here, that is 1.91 times 10 to the eighth for the grains of sand, multiplied by the mass, or 1.36 times 10 to the negative 9 kilograms. And once and doing this final calculation we get here, uh, the answer we get for the total mass is 0 0.26 kilograms. And that is our mass for the total grains of sand here.